Hey Aquarius, peace and blessings, y'all. Hope y'all are doing well. Oh, I'm loving this energy. Even though I looked outside, I'm like, what is all of this snow? <laughs> okay, but I hope everyone is doing well. Sending y'all so much love and light. I hope y'all are protecting your energy. And there's a lot of growth. There's a lot. I've been picking up on layers. Um, you know new habits especially people really taking a look that seven of pentacles energy that mercury retrograde energy you know taking a look at what has been working um what you know what you should be redirecting redirecting your energy towards but a lot of expansion too okay so some of y'all dreams could be heightening even daydreaming okay spirit said don't dismiss the daydreams y'all all right because i am picking up on that page of swords energy so pay attention to your thoughts um especially around this time but don't let them consume you um you know take it as an opportunity to learn about you okay learn about what you want to release um what it could be telling you something you know to look at something even bigger but y'all there is a huge transformation that's happening with the aquarius energy look y'all oh wow i know that card the second uh -huh. the seven of cups but look at this okay look at y'all moving forward i'm so excited okay look <sighs> So y'all could definitely be having some mental conflict. Somebody could be up in their head. Um, you know, I think I am going to do something. I, I'm making some changes on Patreon. So to those who have been interested in joining, um, if you want to wait until, you know, the, oh, I guess it would be like March 1st. Okay. There'll still be content on there. I'm going to be flowing with it around, you know, until 222. And then those, that's when the changes are going to be. But since they charge on the first, you know, to those who want to wait, um, I would say springtime around March 1st. Um, but yeah, this is some very, very interesting energy, y'all. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and look into the general energy for you. Please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Okay. But I do see y'all leaving the rest here. You're leaving the confusion, right? Whatever I'm hearing, was keeping you from moving forward here somebody wow i'm actually really loving this okay even though this is at the bottom of the deck i feel like this may be a current you know thing that is you're working with you may be in your head um somebody could be in your head as well so be aware of what you can yeah i'm hearing what you consume emotionally energetically um because it's going to affect how you move forward right so ways of thinking as well yeah we talked about that what was that in the um yeah that was a lot of divine feminine energy wow yeah relationships y'all okay and th with this two of pentacles going forward it just looks like that y'all are about to be maybe have more on your play more responsibility another stream of income as well somebody's implementing um a new habit right a, a new routine as well there's some i like this two of pentacles that's all i gotta say all right because this if it was over here i'll be like okay somebody is trying to juggle you know too much or maybe even a relationship here okay um and that could be what someone's moving forward from that's what i'm picking up that could definitely be this five of swords but it says okay wow it says i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good y'all so this energy is like you even being in this energy, having this type of relationship with yourself, right? Because like I said, somebody is paying attention to, to their thoughts and it's allowing them to move forward. Somebody is getting up, they, they realize, like especially to have very strong Aquarius energy, y'all. If you have like your moon in Aquarius, I'm picking up on Saturn too, especially. Okay, well, yeah, wow. That means it'll be your Saturn return, okay? So those who are around the age of what uh 28 to 30 and 40 it was it 50 y'all don't give me lying <laughs> okay but yes every 28 29 years y'all that's that energy here wow humor yeah okay fear this we gonna have to talk about this aquarius i see where this is going Mm -hmm. pa look as soon as i said we got to talk about it patience is out here too okay okay Aquarius, I feel somebody really, it's like either you, you're lightening the mood, but also because you're lightening your mood here, um, or somebody else, somebody's going towards this humor, um, relationships that bring the lighter side of life, right? Y'all, it says humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. This is heavy confusion, indecisive, right? Emotional confusion, 
conflict because maybe external opinions or you know other people in the mix and having their say it's just no okay it causes fear it causes fear and which is a blockage um and procrastination and delay in someone moving forward but i feel like in between this right like somebody's realizing like some there's some type of decision that's made here Okay, and that is amazing, it, like because that collective reading I just did with that seven of cups being so prominent, overlaying the reading is really speaking to yes, a masculine energy who is coming up out of this. Like this is amazing, y'all. Okay, I accept everything. Wow, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Because when you do, you're not even you you don't even walk up to these cups to even be like, ooh. What should I choose? Like, no. Y'all are productive. Like, some, this man got tunnel vision, y'all. He got tunnel vision, right? Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Yeah, somebody is focused on their emotional and mental health especially and realizing that it's actually making more room and bringing in more financially going forward, right? And someone's, yeah, yeah. The, the release of this lower vibrational energy is bringing in an increase, okay, of this higher vibrational energy. And I love it. It's changing someone's relationship. Someone's choosing to, uh, yeah, Aquarius, you are the sign of, you know, friends, associates, and, you know, networking, humanity. It's, it's just so much. We can go on and on about your energy, y'all, okay? We can't even put a label on it. That's the last sign that you need to put a label on. Um, so I feel like many of y'all are realizing that about yourselves. Like, I don't think big enough, right? And even if you do, it's just like, well, it's still not big enough if you're still in this energy, right? Because, yeah, I'm, I'm picturing that card. Uh, look at the bigger picture here, okay? And that... Okay, so somebody could have Sagittarius in their chart. What's this chariot? Because y'all moving forward. And somebody focused on their health, releasing fear, having patience when fear does come up. Okay, you know, Spirit is saying, use humor. Okay, if there's something y'all want to go ahead and face your fear and try something new here, implement something new. Spirit said, focus on the lighter side of life. Yes, honey. Okay, look at that. Yeah, wow. And I heard tomorrow is not promised. Okay, and I'm, I'm also getting this energy like you could be feeling this way today and boom tomorrow. It's like it's it's something. It's a shift in the atmosphere. Okay, especially with this Mercury in Aquarius, Saturn in Aquarius. I want y'all to look into the energy of Mercury conjunct Saturn. Right. Look into what that means, um, because. I feel like that'll bring a lot of awareness. That's why. That's the key. That's what happens in between time. In the meantime, there's awareness that takes place. There's this rebirth and y'all are just, you're transforming. Okay. Scorpio energy, very, very strong. Okay. So look and see where that is in your chart. Ooh, we, y'all, this is amazing. Your ancestors are so excited. <laughs> like, and there's this huge change oh there's a change in forward movement when it comes to a home situation some some type of exchange here okay or i'm hearing somebody's going to work with you or there's some something here or joint finances here okay but either way oh wow spirit said this is someone's ancestors who's helping you with this transformation um also there's a lot of forward movement, y'all. I'm amazed. Fear, what's going on? Look, there's that page of swords. Okay, your thoughts. Pay attention. Okay, because I've been picking up on that, y'all. It's just like, you may be just feeling light. Okay, she on this tightrope, just reading her book, feeling real enlightened. Okay, and I have been picking up on reading too more. So if you're shifting your habits, somebody may be, you know, replacing this fear and realizing, you know, it's time. Yeah. I, I realized that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love, not confusion, right? And so being curious and paying attention to what may come up. I, I did pick up on a lot of subconscious energy, um, a lot of healing, a lot of, yeah, that, that trauma, taking a look at it, okay? The pain body, yes. Okay, look, three of wands, y'all. Oh, y'all ships coming in. And there, uh, there may have been a wait. There may be some delay. And that, 
Okay, so Spirit said, be aware of the Seven of Cups energy when while you're waiting or while something may be, you may be wondering when is this going to happen? When is something going to change, especially financially? All right, Spirit said, well, you know, you get out this heavy energy, then it'll you it'll flow okay yeah y'all wow okay so what else do we need to know mm-hmm spirit said that if you get up out that energy and co-create with me right like i'm gonna come through with this whatever this two of pentacles is for you spirit saying i'm co I'm coming through but i need you to work with you again yeah there's some something around the child the inner child here okay and, and loving yourself being loyal to yourself is showing up in how you are you know loyal to others or how you see others how you co-create with others okay i'm telling you y'all this re relationships i am attracted to those who people who serve my higher good here okay and you got so someone's confidence here is changing. Um, there's a lot of manifestation as well. Be aware, cause I, oh yeah, cause the world is here. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's a lot changing. Um, a lot of cycles are ending. So someone could be trying to want to reconcile. Someone from the past may want to come back and you know spin it. However, right and. They got they just painting the story. They they saying they got this and they got that. Okay, because somebody's transforming here, right? But spirit is saying, take a look at your confidence, take a look at your happiness and your forward movement. Cause I feel like someone as I already feel like they may have wasted some time, but there's health. Somebody's priority is their health here. Okay, so is it going is it gonna serve your higher good here? Right? Ooh. Yeah, wow. Mm. It's the star. It's the star, y'all. And the four wands again. There is definitely a wish that is being fulfilled when it comes to a union or uh, some. I'm here a relocation, definitely. Okay. Oh yeah. And there. Oh, there's about to be some give and take. There's healing. Oh, I'm so excited for y'all. Okay. And the Queen of Pentacles. I just see a lot of accomplishment going forward. Um, someone's goal. Someone is going to achieve their goal. I'm here in debt too, because I do pick up on an extra stream of income with this two of pentacles, right? And, ooh, and the chariot. Okay, yeah. Uh huh, y'all. That, that's why that poverty card is starting to come out the way it is, right? This is a poverty like mindset, y'all. Somebody's dropping that fear, right? Having patience with your health right brings it, it just allows everything else to flow right because spirit wants you to honor your physical vessel because if you're not honoring your health and your peace of mind for god to communicate with you for your guides to communicate and help transform what you're praying for then they can't give and receive and and you won't even be in the energy of being i'm hearing receptive to it okay or even seeing it y'all there's a lot of scorpio sagittarius energy here right um wow giving and receiving how are you giving your time and your energy um someone has a lot of financial goals here or they're taking a real look and something's about to be balanced out something's i'm hearing wiped okay wow i'm hearing debt wiped out wiped away mm. what's this uh queen of pentacles holy spirit holy angels what's this queen of pentacles and the oh yep yeah. This may have caused a lot of emotional um, emotional conflict. Wow. So that these vibes are strong, y'all. And this don't even have a number. I'm going to take the V in village as the five, okay? So this may be like maybe a toxic environment or a lot of conflict um, around, you know, where you are or not feeling supported or just an environment that you don't, yeah, does, you feel doesn't support this higher vibrational energy that you want to be in, okay? Um, this water element in, ooh, oh yeah, there's a lot of water here. Spirit said, reconcile with yourself. Somebody needs to forgive themselves, too. They may be, okay, you may be amongst a lot of people who don't love themselves. Low, okay, a lower vibrational energy or community here. But you're the star. <laughs> like, come on, Aquarius. Come on now. You're you're the star, right? Hmm. A lot of healing. Spirit is showing you. That's why y'all moving forward. I see. Many of y'all are answering the call. Okay. What else do we need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do we need to know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There is a huge transformation that's taking place. I want to read this for y'all. Oh, yeah. Look. And you got the seven earth. Okay. One more. Holy Spirit. Holy angels. 
And then we're going to read it. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. Karma. Right? This energy that you're balancing, you're balancing out. And I told you about that karmic debt too, y'all. All right? So let's see. It turned right towards it. Okay. I don't know how to pronounce this. Oshumare. Let's see. It says... Mm. We see the shape of a snake, yin, feminine, cold, negative, the moon, and a rainbow, yang, masculine, warm, positive, the sun, a tree under which Akshumari in her feminine shape takes shelter after rain has stopped, the sun by her side, the sun's light passes through water, dro water drops and creates the rainbow in seven colors, painting a dog of enormous beauty in the sky. Born from Oshala, the oldest of all the mothers of the water, she would be Yamaya, the ancestor of them all. Y'all, Yamaya has been coming up so much, so strongly. Okay, so that may be a message for somebody as well. Okay, it says representing the union of the sky and the earth and water. She therefore meddles with all three and is as already seen, she may take two shapes, two different essences. She has the power of change, transformation, going up and down, confronting at the same time, uniting the opposites because she comprises both masculine and feminine genders. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and this is um, if y'all are interested in the deck, this is the deck this is the book that i'm reading from okay and this is the card oshumare if i'm pronouncing that correctly if somebody wants to look into this further because i'm not going to read all of this but i do want to um touch a little this more is powerful but it speaks of wealth it speaks of abundance material pleasures favorable changes transmutation short trips short in time and in distance thriving business Okay, subtleness, diplomacy, diplomacy, politics, people, oh, competent in the field of oral, written, and visual communications, a, gr a great leader of groups. <laughs> Come on now. So somebody is being led to take a look. If you have Aquarius energy and you're not, you know, looking into astrology or the spirit saying it's time. Okay, it's time for you to go ahead and to look and if only if this resonates with you. I'm not we're not about to start. Okay, but that 11th house energy, y'all, the 11th house energy is what I'm telling you to come on. People competent in the field of oral, written, and visual communications, a, a great leader of groups, conventions, or the masses. He knows how to charm with his looks, hands, voice, or speech, and that makes him a grandiloquent <laughs> I don't know what I just read okay um but it says it's basically making you an amazing extra extraordinary person okay let's see what the word means and let's have it pronounce it <laughs> I just felt like my mama when I was younger like go look it up I'll just be like oh we're moving on She'll, you know go look it up <laughs> Wow. Okay. Look, look. While I'm over here, see we this and this another thing. We're not about to do the labels or the paraphrasing. Y'all may have done this to yourself. Sphere said, think bigger. Somebody is also needing to um work on and expand their vocabulary, uh, reading more. Again, that may be something that you're incorporating more versus you know when you realize you've been taking. Yeah, somebody feels like they've been spending too much time and energy doing something that's just causing them not to move forward. But somebody's ready now. Okay, somebody's definitely ready to move forward. Um, but here we have this beautiful definition that is paying respect. Okay, how do you pronounce it? Grandiloquent. Okay, grandiloquent. Okay, <laughs> it says pompous or extravagant in language, style, or manner, especially in a way that is intended to impress okay like come through holy spirit come through there's a reason why i had to do all of that right 
So there's that's what's transforming with a lot of y'all as well. You're balancing out your karma changing too. Mm. Your dreams because you're you're pouring into your dreams, you're reconciling with your inner child, with your childhood, you're you're becoming the magician of your life. Some of y'all are using that um to communicate, okay, to communicate your story, to communicate with children. Um, you are going to be a very, very bright light amongst people who are in this energy or children who may, you know, feel like they don't have um, the environment or the support here, y'all. They feel like they can't move forward. Here you come running and you just moving fast forward, steam ahead, showing them, yes, you can. Okay? Yeah, I'm like about to get emotional now. Okay? Because this is amazing. <sighs> yeah, y'all. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull a moonology with all this moon energy over here. Got me in tears. I'm so excited for y'all. Yep. Ooh, we. This is a lot of cards too. This is this is powerful. Yeah. Okay. Full moon in Aries. A fiery climax climax approaches. And just wait on that, y'all. Cause that's so interesting. It says the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn, right? So there, look, you got a lot of energy around the cardinal signs already. Um, and five cards coming out. So there's change around this conflict. Y'all are able to transmute, right? That's what that card is said. Transmutation. Okay. Surrender to the divine. Surrender, release the fear, have patience, honor your health, okay? You and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer, and you have all this ancestral energy and support letting you know that, right? And letting you know going forward, you and your loved ones are safe. They're even showing you by, you know, giving you this forward movement, okay? Like gifting you with this this relocation or this 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 home okay or this environment because you have this five of wands this is what i'm picking up here okay it's not it's just as village but i'm picking up on five of wands energy right and it says a new romantic cycle begins y'all so this new moon in libra is what i'm picking up like the last card versus the first card in the same season full moon in aries new moon in libra towards the end of this year right so fall Someone's goals, somebody's going to see a huge change um, in their relationship or rela a new relationship. Something, there's a, there's a shift in karmic energy. There's a shift in the cycles. There's endings that's happening because people are addressing their own karmic energy, their own karmic cycles. What has been keeping them stuck in fear or confusion here, okay? So, uh, yes, continue to be patient with yourself Accept that everything happens in divine order. Surrender to the divine, right? Y'all, this is amazing. Y'all, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna let out a thankful cry after this because I'm so happy for y'all. I'm happy for us, but thank you. Yes, Aquarius, please continue to take the lead. Love on you, okay? So you can send out that love appropriately and please take care of yourselves, all right? That is the reading. I will be open for personals. That information is below if you'd like to check that out. Um, and yeah, if you want to join for Patreon, you can flow with me up until March. Then I'll have everything, you know, ready, ready. But yeah, I appreciate y'all. This is interesting. I'm about to meditate some more. We may have a little bonus coming out. But happy birthday. Happy birthday, Aquarius. Please take care. Bye.